What's up, guys? Welcome back to our classic zombies game series where I go back and play all the zombies maps that I've missed out on. And today we're still on BO2 and we're going to be hopping into Nuketown for the very first time. OK, uh, still as familiar as Nuketown, but just as small. I don't know how this is going to work in zombies. I I've heard that this map is extremely tough. What do we have in here? There's a Bowie knife. There's an AK-74U. There's a Claymore. M14s right here. So is this Nuketown after they dropped the nuke? Oh, yeah. The clocks destroyed completely still a lot of the colors showing up everywhere though take a peek over here not seeing a whole lot will we even need a guide for this is it that hard to set up is there even power oh quick revise right here let's grab that what's up zombies now technically i have played a little nuketown zombies before but it's on cold war on onslaught so not really the same thing it was literally just a multiplayer map that they spawned zombies in on this is a little more re reimagined there's 94 here no there's not it's just me am i in a hazmat suit or is this like really low poly hands oh there's a teddy bear in the bus what are you doing in the bus okay i guess i should probably start looking for stuff let's open this okay we have that auto pistol in here the house is leaking really get an inspector in here do i have to buy ever oh, that is annoying those doors are what did the nuke drop and they they shut all the doors those doors are open during multiplayer i guess you gotta add something to do what's up here just more leaking goo. Is this a camp spot here? Or do zombies jump up from this spot? So if we can camp right here, I'm chilling. And what's in the backyard? A, a fire tornado, apparently. And a sofa in the way, per usual. Every debris in zombies is always a sofa. Where's the box? Is there a box on this map? Oh, it's right there. I'm an idiot. Let's go hit it. I need a gun in a second anyways. Oh, we got monkeys on our first pull. That's not bad. Could have used a gun though. Now I'm going to be broke. All right, let's see if I can knife these guys away until I get enough to hit it again. Okay. Or I could go down and lose my quick revive. Okay, I got enough. Give me a gun, please. Ray gun, perhaps? Is there a wonder weapon on this map? That'd be pretty cool. Okay. M27. I'll take it. Nothing over here in spawn. I'm assuming this is... uh. Actually, I don't know what this would be. It kind of looks like how the box spawns look when there's no box there. But it's taller. This is another box spawn. I don't know why it would only move across the yard. I guess there's not that many places to have one. But I got no money, so I got to try to survive here. It would have been cool if they used like the whole neighborhood for nuketown like all that area you don't get to see in multiplayer would have been nice open up this door that way we have access back and we should probably go try to check out this side i'm gonna grab quick revive back are there other perks on this map because i've only seen quick revive is that it we already went through a whole house unless every other perk is in yellow house all right i guess we'll go take a peek what's in here a remington wall buy anything in here nope Okay, I'm gonna go buy that pistol real quick because I'm running low on ammo for this and I don't want to risk hitting the box and getting another weapon I can't replenish ammo for. All right, what's going on up here? Oh, here's Jug. I don't have enough for it though. Oh, max ammo. Beautiful. No zombie, no knocking. Another max ammo after just getting one. Okay, let's buy Jug. Got a feeling that's gonna be very useful on this map. What's down here? Nothing. Can I get into this area? I can. 3,000. Oh, it's a fire sale in there. So what's the big idea here? Just two perks and the box that's it that's all they're gonna give me i don't see anywhere where i can turn power on or flip a switch or something so i think after this run i'll look up a guide for this and figure out how to do everything else okay i guess i'll open this door up just so you have the access so really nothing else i can do oh now it's a nuke okay what the hell i guess all i'm gonna just rack up points try to round this round out and then uh i don't know actually where, where do we go from here i feel like we've done everything there's no way that's it to the map what just happened something just exploded do i have to wait till a certain round is there something else i have to do oh speed cola is here what that was not here a second ago okay i'm grabbing speed cola and is this still a nuke in here should i wait till it's a different power up no it's double points now whatever i'm just going okay is that it literally that's it and i wasted the double points by grabbing on the last zombie of the round but i would have definitely got stuck there and died any other round so i'm glad i did it then i'm so lost speed cold just came out of nowhere oh wait what's happening i can't move my controller just connected that's what's happening okay i thought it was something in the game like i triggered an event Did i have to just survive a certain amount of rounds for things to show up is that is that what's happening i guess i'll try all right what happens at round 10 anything maybe i should go check around the map and see if there's anything new i'll leave a zombie after this round and go look around i'm too scared to move around out there oh my god my controller keeps disconnecting that's gonna get me killed Oh, you left me a double points? How sweet. Oh, I accidentally ended the round. Damn it. Okay. Anything new out here? Hello? Maybe if I open this. Let me switch this out. I'll get the 70 for you. Anything new over here? There's a bomb shelter. What is this right next to a pack a punch? Mist? Oh, I keep calling it pack a punch. This is literally a mystery box. I don't know why I'm mixing those up all of a sudden. I think it was just a charred bush that looked like anything. I'm gonna try out a monkey. Go eat it. Enjoy. Let me get some points off you guys. There we go. Uh, it actually did not take them all out. 
unfortunately. But we got an insta kill to remedy that and a double points. All right, let's go see if we have everything open on the map. I don't think I can open any of that. Can I open the garage door? No. What can I do over here? Nothing. Do I have to like shoot off all the mannequin heads for pack a punch or something? Maybe I should try that. Well, mannequins still have heads. So remember there was an Easter egg like that back in the day. Oh my God, pack a punch is right here. What's going on, pack a punch? How did you get here? Do things just show up on this map? I'm so lost. So lost. All right, I guess we'll get our 74U packed. There we go. There has to be another perk somewhere that has spawned in. We're on round 12 and speed cola spawned in, pack a punch spawned in. I, what, what's the difference between rounds? Like how long did it take for both of those to spawn in? Maybe you have to wait like every three or so rounds after five. Uh, I guess I'm just going to keep playing until I can't because we're not even doing bad right now. Knock on wood. Everybody knock on wood right now. But in the future, I'm guessing it's probably better to go yellow house first because you have a chance to get like uh, a fire sale as your power up in here. And you can go ahead and hit the box. I just pack a punch. My B34R. Didn't it, wasn't it just a B32R? You just added a four in there. Very unique name. Does this map even need a guide? I'm honestly just so confused. Can I open up this door over here? Is this something I don't have open? Yeah, I can. Okay. Any other doors I don't have open? I swear I've checked everything so far. I might as well grab the Bowie knife. This seems all open. This looks all open. I didn't get rid of this. All right. Well, is there any other mannequins that still have their heads? This guy or gal and this one and these. And there's got to be a few out of the map, right? That These ones don't have their heads. Any in the bus with a dome? I would like to not. What if I shoot the, the bear? Anything? Do not think so. Oh, wait. These guys have their dome still. You have your dome. You just lost yours. You're losing yours as well. All right. I'll look for more after I'm done training here. Okay, this is looking like our last zombie. Let's go look around again. Anybody in the garage? Nope. Anybody upstairs? Oh, yeah. Got him. There's another bear here. And a mannequin in the corner. Oh, that zombie just took the shot for him. Okay, there's no way there's still a mannequin left with a dome anywhere. Oh, right here. Okay, now it's saying there's only 36 zombies left. It just dropped at 35. Okay. So what happens if I kill all the zombies then? So this is like the zombie count. What happens if I get them all down? And I'm going to have to go back and get a thumbnail with it saying 69. Now that I know that. Only 18 left. Is there 18 zombies in this round? It said like 94 on round one. There's no way that's just a whole round count. That's got to be a total. What happens when we hit zero? Okay, seven left. One left, it says. Okay, now it's back to 97. Oh, every time I kill 100 zombies, does something new spawn? Is that how it works? Take a look around. Anything new? It seems like these this crate has to become a perk machine. It has to become something. Oh, there's one more zom or mannequin with the head right here. Anything? Uh, ray gun, perhaps, out of the box? Maybe that'll help? Nope. Oh, there's one more mannequin right here. Zombie? Come on. Any in the backyards or anything with heads? I feel like I've shot in every head, but... It after I said that, I found one every time. See, there's more boxes and stuff here. Something has to spawn there. How close are we to 69? We're at 88, 75. I gotta be careful here. I don't wanna kill too many. Oh, we're at 70. Oh no, we had to kill more and I went down. But we're at 69. I'm turning on no cam so I can get this thumbnail shot right away. The commitment, look at it, 69. Okay, now I need to get back to quick revive. I'm gonna throw a monkey actually. That's what they're for. Quick revive. Enjoy that bomb. Something just happened. What was that sound? Is that the monkey bomb going off that made that sound? That didn't sound like a monkey bomb. Okay, we got all of our perks back like immediately and still have cash. Oh shit. Shit in my ass. No, we're chilling. Oh wait, now quick revive's gone. I only grabbed it twice. Oh, maybe I did grab it three times. I grabbed it when I spawned. I went down early. Grabbed it after that. I recently went down and I grabbed it again. Okay, so that makes sense. But that does prove the theory that that's what... Perk machines are supposed to look like when they're gone. So, is it just random chance that perk machines can spawn in other spots? Our crawler hit me a little bit. There you go. Anything I can do with this? Nope. Oh, this mannequin still has its head. Is that all of them now? Ray gun? Or bust? It was a bust. Crawler, what are you doing on the roof? Get off the roof. Get down here. Bad crawler. And the box moved. I wonder where it'll go. Could it perhaps go right here? Or maybe across the street? Oh, wow. It went so far away. I'm going to hit this till I get the ray gun. Also, I've still never gotten the Ray Gun Mark II in this game. I've never gotten it. I've gotten the Ray Gun plenty of times. No Mark II. I feel like I'm cursed. And the box moved again. Come on, Crawler. We gotta go find it. Oh, there's two mannequins right here that don't. There we go. And we got a sniper. Okay. The earth is absolutely scorched over here. Oh, there's one here that doesn't. Is that all of them now? I've said it after I've shot every single mannequin. I feel like I have to do it all in the same round or it won't work. Oh, well. No way I went down again. That's a big rip. No more quick revive for me. All right, monkey bomb. Go get him. I get jug back. Give me speed cola back. 
and before I die unceremoniously, I'm going to look up and see if there's anything else I can do on this map. Because if not, I'll just try to get as house around as I can. We'll, we'll call it a day. All right, so from the guide that I watched, it seems like everything is just random and chaotic on this map. Uh, the power up in this little shed here uh, respawns every like or resets every 33 zombie kills apparently and then besides that the perks drop random and in random spots same with the pack a punch machine it, it's all just random this is just like a, a fun map to mess around on really there's not too much to do i'm sure this map would be a lot of fun with friends if there's like grief mode or like gun game or something on here that'd be great it seems like it's just normal survival but i did see that there is an easter egg when you shoot all the the teddy bears on this map i've already found a few and also there's galvan knuckles right here if you shoot that bear there's one upstairs over here zombies you could come on out so i can come on in another one right here and i'm guessing the last one's in greenhouse i'm sure it won't be too hard to find oh, i just looked again it says the other one's also in the yellow bus also there's a spawn for a perk machine in this garage here and the only way to get in is to prone through this door i'm pretty sure which is very unfortunate is this, if this is where your quick revive is at but yeah you can get in here awful spot to be though where's the other teddy bear i don't see it okay so it's actually over here the comment I was reading was wrong. It's behind the fence back here. All right, I think I've seen just about everything. Uh, this bear here, apparently it wasn't on the bus. It's just back here behind the fence. I've shot it. Uh, the song did not start, but I'm fine with there being no song. So yeah, it, it's basically all I've learned is that this is happening at the same exact time that the moon Easter egg is happening. I have never done the moon Easter egg, so maybe we'll have to do that at some point. But basically... Every 33 zombies you kill, this little clock up here will change. And after every round, you get a, a quote from the Easter egg going on up there. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. So yeah, nothing too crazy here. It's just like a, a nice map to goof around on, I guess. I guess I'll just try to survive for as long as I can. I no longer have quick revive, so it might not be too long. I The second I lose quick revive, it's like I, I throw the whole game. Actually, I can set a goal for myself. Maybe we'll we'll try to survive till at least round 25. And then maybe also try to get the ray gun. Those are my two goals. Oh, wait. It's making the sound like a perk's about to spawn? There we go. One just spawned in the garage, I'm pretty sure. At least that's where it looked like it crashed down at. We'll have to take a peek. We'll run through the house and see. Oh, fire sale. Okay, it wasn't in the garage, but it was back here. At least that's what it looked like. We'll hit the box though while we're at it. Looks like a 5-7. Is it in that back corner that it spawned? And this is actually the perfect place to be during a fire cell. Oh, it was. And it was double tap. We can grab that in a minute. Is that the ray gun? Finally, let's go. All right, there's one goal. Let's grab double tap real quick. And let's go get this ray gun pack-a-punch. I'm going to grab ammo for this first before we move on. And then we'll use the rest of our money to get this pack-a-punch. There we go. Let's go. Take a look at the pack-a-punch ray gun. I haven't really taken a look at the... Pack a punch camo on this map. It looks real nice. Let me try to find some like better lighting. The lighting right here seems pretty good. Not bad looking. All right, now we'll see how long we can survive for. Actually, another like alternate goal. I'm going to try to get the Galvan Knuckles too. I'm not even really using my Bowie knife, but Galvan Knuckles seem like fun. I'm pretty sure it's better than the Bowie knife too. A nuke. I'll happily take that. Get this round done. I wonder what other perks can spawn on here. So far, it's just like the OG ones. Like Quick Revive jug speed cola and double tap is this supposed to be just like bo1 since it's taking place at the same time as moon i bet people were creaming their pants when they found out this was like related to the moon easter egg it would have been so cool to actually like be playing zombies back in the day i was into so many other games i was too stupid for zombies back then i still am not the uh, the sharpest tool in the shed but we're getting there we're learning yeah i could buy galvan knuckles right now but i need more ammo for this but we should be able to buy them next round I'll just use my ray gun mess around. Oh, a max ammo. Give me that. All right, let's grab our Galvan Knuckles. Hopefully another perk spawns in soon. Maybe PhD. Ooh, Galvan Knuckles looks so cool. Look at this. Ah, ah. I'm going to punch the first zombie I see. Who wants it? Who wants the right hook? You do? There you go. Okay. Maybe it's not as good as I thought it would be. Still takes a few punches to kill. It's nothing like the mom of the dead spork. Okay. Now it's one shot killing. Ignore the, the insta kill. Oh, and a fire sale. Damn. And double points and a nuke? No, please don't kill me. Let's just do it. Fuck it. And we'll hit the box. That's only 10 points. Why not? Give me a mark two. Nope. Does double tap work for melee weapons? Or is it just bullets? Is it strictly bullet weapons? Like if I were to use the Bowie knife or the Galvan knuckles with double tap, will I be doing more damage? Do I swing faster with that? Or is it just strictly fire rate and damage from, you know, weapons like guns? Is there any difference there? I'm getting low on ammo. A max ammo would be swell. Anyone care to give me one? Insta-kill works too. And I'm dead. 
Okay, I think I just killed myself with the ray gun there. I got pinned between two zombies there, and I was like, okay, let's just shoot at the ground. Oh, at least the end sequence for this map looks kind of cool. Just follow the missile down on the map. Nice of them to wait for me to die. But that's Nuketown, I guess. <laughs> I'm a little underwhelmed. I thought there'd be a lot more to do, but I mean, it's still pretty cool. It's cool that it's linked with Moon. Uh, had I grown up playing zombies and I would have done the Moon Easter egg and then gotten on Nuketown and then seen all the references to it, I would have lost my mind for sure. But... Uh, unfortunately I did not. It's still, it's still a fun map. I'm sure it'd be fun to play with friends, but I don't think this would be one that I'd revisit like often and, you know, see what I can do, how far I can get. Actually, maybe it will be, you know, that, that'd be a fun one to just play like on stream or something. I don't know. Overall, it's pretty cool, but doesn't offer that much in terms of like content of what you can do on it if that makes sense but with that i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here so if you guys like that and you want to see more go ahead and leave a like on it if you didn't and you don't dislike if you're new here please consider subscribing put out all kinds of cod content throughout the week that's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys next time later